Hey y'all, it's Andrew Reed here with Mossy Creek Mushrooms, and I'm sure that you guys remember a few weeks ago I did a video on making liquid cultures, uh, making spawn with liquid culture, and in that video I was using golden enoki. So really quick, I figured I'd give you a update on how our enoki is doing. We actually tried to just fruit it like we did an oyster. Um, I think that that was a little bit of a mistake, but it ended up being really prolific in the grow room. We, we got pretty decent clusters, not very big. They're not very, you know, there's not a lot of volume to them, but they seem to be producing really well in bag. So if you look here, you can see that they're producing really well inside the bag. And outside the bag, they're definitely capping out a lot more. So they're, they're not being quite as, um, prolific outside the bag though they are very beautiful when grown outside the bag here's another example of how prolific they can be so I think that for my next experiment with golden enoki what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the top of the bag and I'll just cut under the seal where we um, <clears throat> where we seal the block in the lab so for here, here for instance, I think that I'm going to place my blocks just like this. And then here, where we have the seal in the top of the bag, I think I'm just going to cut right here. Leave all of this and let it pin in the bag. And whenever it pins in the bag, it'll be able to grow up the collar here. And I'm hoping to get the desired effect of getting long, skinny enokis like people are used to seeing, um, even in the light. I think I might even try white enoki and golden enoki both, but I gotta say, it's an amazing tasting mushroom. So, again, I got that LC, that liquid culture, from Lenny Rockwell at Mycelium Emporium. If you use code MOSSY, M O S S Y, saves you something like 10% off your order. So, uh, make sure you use that code if you wanna get it. The enoki is just grown on master's mix, so 50% sawdust, 50% soy. Um, and as you can see, they're, they're producing very well. They're, they're growing in the same room where oysters are growing. So here we've got kings, and we've got some blue oyster trials that we're doing of new strains that I've been breeding. And you can see from this other side, this is the same room where we've been growing most of our herisium strains and we just picked a little bit ago. Um, Jason's been picking for us. And there's uh, one enoki that Jason found yesterday that, actually, I'm not sure if he did. Hey Jason, yeah. were you the one that found that golden enoki yesterday? Laura found it? Yeah. Oh, okay. So Laura found it. And as you can see, it was turned, this block produced really strangely. Now this is old now. We've kind of let it just go on because we wanted to see what it would do. But this block was turned around backwards against this wall. And because of that, either because it was in the dark or because the air had slowed down here, um, also, this room, the fan went out for a, a day, and then we, we put a new one in, and that one shorted out on me, so I've got a lot of long stems. So the high CO2 may have been what allowed this one to get long, long stems like that, plus the high humidity of being next to the wall. So, I'm thinking, <clears throat> boy, I gotta get out of here. I'm thinking that growing it in the top of the bags like a collar like people do in bottle culture is going to be the best way to go with the enoki so there you go guys just a quick update on the enoki you can see that the uh the strain from lenny rockwell is a good strain um and it grow, grows much in the conditions like oysters will you know as long as your my room is uh about 65 degrees right now and 65 to 70 degrees lots of fresh air good humidity you know topping out about 85 percent what we're topping out our humidity at right at this moment um, bottoming it out about 70 
and uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's just producing really well. So if you guys want it, go to Mycelium Emporium and check it out. And with that, guys, keep spawning culture, y'all.